Today I am going to discuss about the discovery of transduction. So remember that uh, bacterial DNA can be transferred from one bacterial cell to another cell by one of the three ways. The first process is known as transformation when the naked DNA is taken up. This happens when a cell lyses its release DNA is taken up by another cell. The second process is known as conjugation where actual cell-cell contact is essential and this happens when the donor bacteria can make a copy of their DNA and transfer to the recipient cell via pilas. The third process is known as transduction uh, which we will be describing in this video and in transduction the bacterial DNA can be transferred from one bacterial cell to another via a fudge particle containing bacterial DNA. Such a particle is known as transducing particle. So transduction was discovered by Lederberg and Zinder in 1952 and they, uh, they took uh, a bacteria that is known as Salmonella typhimurium and this Salmonella typhimurium has some special properties that they took two different strains of Salmonella typhimurium one is called LA22 another is known as LA2 both are oxotropic strain oxotropic strain means they have some nutritional deficiencies for example in LA22 strain they are not able to biosynthesize as phenylalanine and tryptophan and that is why it is regarded as PH minus that is phenylalanine minus they are not able to produce phenylalanine amino acid they are not able to produce tryptophan amino acid but they are able to biosynthesize as methionine and histidine and LA2 this is another state of cellular trigonometrium this is a still autotropic state uh, but having the complementary relationship with that of the LA2 D2 strain that means this has phenylalanine plus tryptophan plus so they can synthesize phenylalanine and tryptophan but they lack methionine and histidine that means they are not able to biosynthesize this methionine and histidine amino acids so when they put these two strains to a test tube and uh, incubate for some time after that they took aliquot of sample aliquot of sample is taken out from that media after incubation for some period and plated on minimal agar plated on minimal agar having lacking all four amino acids that means the plate lacks phenylalanine, methionine, tryptophan and histidine all of those four amino acids are not present and when they incubated the plate with, uh, by taking some, uh, some amount of uh, uh, media from, from this mixture several colonies get developed about one cell, one colonies, one cells per one lakh R1 lakh cells develop in the in the plate and that should be a prototroph. By the term prototroph means they contains all of these four genes that is phenylalanine plus, tryptophan plus, methionine plus and histidine plus. So that means some sort of recombination event may occur between the strain LA2 and LA22. So they put a similar kind of experiment but by, uh, by using uh, the idea of Davis U2 experiment. So in the second part of the experiment what they did, they took a U tube, U like tube and they put LA2 strain at the left and LA2 strain at the right and these two strains will be separated by a standard bacteriological filter paper. So this is the bacteriological filter paper. So via this filter paper, we can uh, transfer the media from left to right or right to left, but no strain from LA22 or LA2 cannot meet together. Right? That means the bacteria is not able to pass through this media. So by applying pressure or suction, we can transfer the media via this filter paper, but the bacterial cell cannot get cell-cell contact. So after incubation for some time, they took a of sample from the left side and plated on again on minimal other minimal other lacking all of those four, four uh, amino acids lacking all of these four all amino acids that means that means methylene strings are lacking in the media and no colonies were developed no colonies were developed as expected that means LA22 is a, is a divide of methylene histidine uh, because the plate lacks methylene histidine, they are not able to grow. But when they took uh, media from the right part and plated again on minimal other, lacking all of those four amino acids, in that case, somehow several colonies 
gets developed that means they should be that should be prototrop that is that should be prototropic colony prototrop so that should be phenylalanine plus tryptophan plus methionine plus and histidine plus so how this la22 gets recombinant so there must be some sort of recombination given because la2 lacks phenylalanine and tryptophan and because they are going in that media that means they are now getting the phenylalanine gene and tryptophan gene from the definitely la2 la2 part because la2 contains the phenylalanine and tryptophan gene but la2 is not able to transfer this thing so the idea is fudge particle may carry the gene from la2 that is the phenylalanine tryptophan genes from la2 and fudge particle can get transferred by this standard bacteriological filter method how so we have to explain this thing that If there is a fudge called fudge P22, this fudge can infect salmonella typhimia. But there is a difference. For LA2 strain, this fudge exhibits only lipid cell. But for LA22 strain, fudge can exhibit lysogenic cycle also, lysogenic plus lipid. So, in case of LA22 strain, the same fudge can exhibit lysogenic cycle, but in case of LA2 strain, the fudge exhibits the lytic cycle. So, the idea was, in where, say this is our uh, LA2 DNA, so this is the LA2 uh, strain, and this is the chromosomal DNA, and upon infecting the fudge DNA, so this is the P22 DNA, upon infection, what normally a fudge did? do not what normally if do they will eventually cleave the host dna to generate uh, different dna segments so that they can use the dna segment as a source of tplotin so the first event that after the infection of the la2 strain is to cleave the host dna into several several fragments right so we have now the several bacterial dna fragments several bacterial dna fragments and only one p22 dna now far p22 uh, to uh, generally take this uh, DNA as a source of nucleotide to make their own genome so they can uh, synthesize their own genome say this is the p 2 into DNA so they are making their own genome say uh, this is the uh, say this is the linear part this is the linear DNA say this is the linear DNA, so fast to be true DNA is a linear DNA and this is the linear DNA, so they are making their progeny fudges, progeny DNA, linear and during packaging, so during packaging, what they normally need, they need to package their own genome into their own head, right, so this is the phenomena, they need to package their own genome into their own head, but what will happen? If they mistakenly taken up a bacterial DNA, if they mistakenly taken up the bacterial DNA, so this is the bacterial DNA. Why they mistakenly taken up the bacterial DNA? If the one of the uh, one of the fragment size, that is the bacterial DNA fragment size, is comparable to size of the p 2 DNA, in that case, fudge can mistakenly taken up that uh, bacterial DNA as its own DNA and can be packaged within the fudge head. That is the minimum requirement to get packaged within the fudge head is that a single fragment of bacterial DNA that should be comparable to size of the fast p DNA can be packaged within the fudge head. So this particle, this particle carries entirely the bacterial DNA and this should be the generalized transducing particle. So the, this generalized transducing particle upon infection, the upon infection may carry the segment of DNA which contains that two genes that is the uh, methionine and histidine genes because uh, they should carry those part of the gene that, that lacks in LA22 that is uh, that is methionine and histidine sorry they, they, they are taking actually phenylalanine and tryptophan they are taking phenylalanine genes and tryptophan genes remember LA22 strand LA22 lacks Phenylalanine, tryptophan, but they they contain methionine and histidine. So the idea is 
the pediatric DNA after infection of LA2 uh, bacteria taken up a segment of P20, uh, LA2 DNA which contains the phenylalanine gene and tryptophan gene. So when this uh, part can get transported via the standard bacteriological filter paper and can get infected another bacteria that is LA22 and transfer their genome within the LA22 strain there will be some sort of homologous recombination right that means now we have LA2 LA22 strain LA22 strain which contains phenylalanine gene tryptophan negative gene methionine positive and histidine positive and they are and this is the bacterial DNA which uh, this first can contain which contains phenylalanine gene tryptophan gene and maybe uh, maybe methionine minus we don't know and histidine minus so standard recombination event can occur before the start of phenylalanine and after tryptophan so that a recombinant will be generated that will be that will be phenylalanine plus tryptophan plus methionine plus and his plus. so this would be the also uh, this would be the prototypic strain that developed in the media this led to the discovery of transduction right hope you understand